Hey, welcome to Life in the God Lane, and this is that channel where we do one thing. We just teach the Bible, and this, these are power verses for Saturday, June the 18th, 2022, and I call this message, Imitate the Ant, and it's from Proverbs 6, verses 6 through 8. I hope you'll subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified every time I put one out at least once a day. Uh, give me thumbs up, make comments, do what you can to help me get this out to as many people as I can. I teach the Bible here. That's all we do. Now, there's not much to an ant. Uh, yet, as a kid playing in the woods, I have seen ant hills that would blow your mind. I mean, blow your mind. They might be a whole couple feet high and spread out for eight or ten feet, just go on and on. Be huge out in the woods where I played. So how do teeny, tiny little ants get so much done? Well, look at Proverbs 6, verses 6 through 8. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in the summer and gathers its food at harvest. King Solomon it wrote this, and he, he addresses the sluggard, he, call, he calls it, the sluggard. Uh, what does it mean to be a sluggard? Well, a sluggard is a lazy, sleepy, slow-moving person, the guy who doesn't get much done. Being a sluggard is a great way to fail in school, work, or in life generally. You just don't get anything done because you're hanging, hanging out and sleeping and, and just messing around. Solomon tells the sluggard to consider the ant in its ways. And he says, be wise, be wise. He is telling the sluggard to imitate the ant. Notice that the ant has no commander, has no overseer, has no ruler. The ant does not need a boss man to make him do things, to make him do his work. He works and he never slacks off. He says that he stores up his provision in the summer and gathers food at the harvest. He works ahead to make sure his needs are handled. He works and never stops. I remember uh, playing at a favorite spot in the woods as a kid, and I saw a small anthill starting to develop and uh, came back the next day to the same spot to mess around in the summertime as a kid, and it was at least four times larger in one night. Why? The ants just kept on working. They didn't stop. They kept at it. 2008, I was in my uh, second year, actually the beginning of the third year of selling cars. And, and the recession hit, and it was a tough time. And I, I went from over $90,000 in 2006 to around forty five. I think 96 in 2006, 92 in 2006, 45 in 2008. Whack! Just got hit. Now, my goal was to earn $100,000, you know, and the years between 2008 and 2012, I mean, we're talking about four years, were tough. They were really tough. But like the ant, I kept working. And in 2012, I earned over $100,000. For the, And that was the first time in my life. Remember, I was a preacher making about 40000 So that was a huge amount of money to me. We're, we're entering hard times now. You may have noticed that. And they're going to be with us for a while. 8.6 inflation and where I live, $6 gas. By the time you actually hear this, it'll be more. It just, it's going, the economy is going south in a hurry. So how do we get through it? Well, two things. Trust in the Lord and work like the ant. Trust in the Lord and work like the ant. Learn those lessons. You'll make it. Look to the Lord. He'll see you through. I'll talk to you soon.